Uh, how's it going, YouTube? Gross here. Back with another episode of our Yu-Gi-Oh! Caps Monster Coliseum Libra mod. It's been a hot minute, so I need to look at this. And I think we lost last episode. I don't know. I wasn't uh, very focused. I remember, I think I tried to fight Merrick and got absolutely destroyed. Um, we haven't. Let me see if I can find this. Was it? It's been almost a month since I've played anything. <clears throat> uh, I've just been busy. I had the RCQ Magic the Gathering tournament. At, er, tournament. Tournament. Uh, I ended up taking fourth with uh, a really funky, janky deck. So I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, and then just been kind of busy. I didn't really have <clears throat> uh, time to record with like work five days a week. And then I would play like F&M on Friday and then like Magic Tournament or other things on Saturday. I just didn't have <clears throat> time these last couple weeks. But we'll, we'll, we'll get back to it here. Uh, let's play Bandit Keith. We'll try Keith. I think we will come back to Merrick. It is what it is. Um, we're going to be sticking with the Caps Monster Coliseum on the channel. We're going to be sticking with the Duelist of the Roses as usual. Uh, don't know what game is going to replace this. I'm thinking I might play... Um, Nightmare Troubadour. The Yu-Gi-Oh. I kind of want to play a Yu-Gi-Oh like card game. Like the actual card game. But... Maybe I'll try Forbidden Memories <clears throat> and see how that goes. That might be very, very frustrating, though. <laughs> if you're the former and then I'm going to be bringing back Pokemon. I'm probably going to be doing a Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. And more Emerald Rogue. I'm going to be streaming on Kick, playing Emerald Rogue in, like, the morning when I get done with work. So, link to that down in the description if you want to go give me a follow when I uh, do end up actually streaming on there. Probably... Well, actually, you know what? This is going up on the 16th. I might have already started playing uh, Emerald Rogue in the morning, so. Yeah. I know I got work here pretty soon, so. <laughs> I just wanted to start, uh, start recording again. I want to use my free time a little bit better if that makes sense i've been really slacking on the uh the free time management i haven't been using it to the uh best of my ability uh, let's bring cursey i think we want to bring dmg try to level them up a little bit but i don't know how screwed we're gonna get on the the power we'll bring kirby osclo here is op Is he? What'd that say? Oh, reduces light attribute. I thought that said increases. I was gonna say, wait, why? Ah, uh, so what the lizard do? Lizard does not seem that great. Forty left. Seventy-seven. I guess it doesn't really matter who we bring, right? Uh, someone mentioned manual place. Or a random place. I don't do random place just because it's uh annoying <clears throat> when they set your stuff in like stupid ass spots. Uh where is my sheet that tells me who has special creatures? Is it this one? Oh Bandit Keith did have one. Whoops. That uh, is there a way to look at his stuff? So he's got B Dragon. I don't know if I care too much about Pendulum Machine.
Like we're pro we're taking slot machine and barrel dragon, right? <clears throat> so I guess it doesn't matter per se. Also, another thing with the random placing creatures, I pretty much just randomly place them anyways, like a doofus, so... <clears throat> I don't think it matters too much. There's not a lot of thought process that goes into me placing them. Sometimes I'll, like, try to make sure my... Like, if I have the diagonal people that only attack diagonally, I'll try to make sure they're not on the same spots. So that way I don't get that... Like, if it's a 1v2... And they can just stay on the one tile where I, neither of my monsters can hit them. I'll try to avoid that. But usually it doesn't matter. I guess I could just random place them and just fucking roll with it. Yep, we'll try that next battle. I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> the equivalent of me doing it anyways, so... <laughs> Uh, any suggestions you guys got, though, for <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! games, old, new, let me know. I'm down to, uh, try any of them. Because we're going to need some replacement games here once, uh, the Libra mod, once we beat this playthrough. And we only have a couple more decks left on the Duels of the Roses. I can't believe I've been playing that for, like, a couple years now. I've been playing Duels of the Roses since... It came out, but... I didn't realize the, uh... The mod is that old already. I don't try to remember to level up this leg. Okay, what slot he do? So he always brings these two up this way. <clears throat> and then... I guess if I'll be able to hit slot machine. So if he moves, I think we go here. I mean, if I'm a dumbass and can't count spaces, we can just run back. But I think those two will be able to hit him. I think he'll be able to hit him too. So what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> ooh, I think we play this one a diff little different. This thing is a 4-2, what the fuck? I guess I moved Dark Magician Girl over too? I was just about to say, I think I'm going to play this one different. I think I'm going to move everything to the left over here. <clears throat> Usually I move to the right. But. Does that corner my Kariba? Let's bring him back. I just realized I have a lot of weird <clears throat> creatures that move diagonally. Yeah, so I think we kill Slot Machine. And then the Thunderball, or Needle Ball, whatever the fuck it is. Shouldn't be that strong. Maybe we can hit Needle Ball too. If we can kill... So the question be... Okay. 
I was gonna see where everyone goes. And luckily, Bandit Keith's not one of them characters that gets all antsy and pissy when you don't move right away. So, how strong is this? Oh, he's pretty tough. Damn, he got 81 XP for that. So my question is going to be, if Oscolo Hero, one, two, three, one, two, we can hit fucking Feral Imp if he doesn't pop it out. I assume he does here, but I mean, we probably one shot Feral Imp, right? Even if it's out of his capsule or at least do like huge damage to it. Oscolo's damage is ridiculous. Uh, let's change it up. Let's go mid. Because <clears throat> DMG can come mid too. My Every time I see my crystal, it's like red around the... like middle and bottom of it i always think it's like damaged i'm like wait a minute they haven't even hit me how would it be damaged like doesn't it look hurt up there like it's cracking what's up impy boy you pop out b dragon too what's he doing he doesn't pop out barrel dragon we hit the fucker? <laughs> nah. This is a shitty thing about Dark Magician Girl. You got this goofy ass pattern. Um. I actually would really like this one. We end up bringing Gear Golem a lot and <clears throat> probably want to get some levels on him. I need to level up my crystal before I fight Merrick again. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I know I screwed up with the... Oh, that doesn't kill. That's okay. Damage be damage here. Isn't he like 2-2? Two -two? King of the castle. <clears throat> I mean, we definitely didn't win yet. Oh, he coming all the way back. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, I did not expect that. <clears throat> oh, double yikes. Triple yikes. Rip rip. <laughs> Uh, I know it's not technically over yet, but it feels kind of over.
I get that feeling it's going to be a little rough here. Get him, Karibo. Get him, boy. I probably should have did that with the, the leg, but there. I was trying to get that on Karibo. I didn't know what level he got the perfect block thing. They're going to hit a wall right here, so he can't do anything. Question is, can he attack through that lamppost? That thing's level 7? Wait, what the fuck? I think we do this, our dragon will die, but... Fine. This is gonna get funky. Four hundred seventy six damage. <laughs> Killed him twice. Chat. Damn it. What if we move here? And here. I mean, he's going to kill my leg. I'm not going to offer up my gear golem because the legs, if he kills my gear golem, my leg's not going to be able to hit him. So I'd rather just... We'll level the leg some other time. It's whatever. And then we just have to deal with this fucker. Dark Magician Girls just ass. Got it. I don't know if this will work. I 
I don't really want to give the shield to Dark Magician Girl because I don't know how that works with the <clears throat> the movement he has. Every move is like, I don't know if she'll ever be able to touch him if they move properly. I mean, I'm also just going to do this. I should have Karibo <laughs> did it to himself. I think we'll be okay. Karibo. <laughs> oh, he's going to move away. Oh, that makes sense. Fuck. The comm's actually smart. What? A douche. It's my turn. Yeah, and then it's going to be impossible to touch him. We'll see. We'll see what he does. <clears throat> Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, sure thing, buddy. I feel like there was a better way to do that, but yeah, okay. The comm goes from making like an actual smart, intelligent play to just fucking, here, kill me. <laughs> just a complete 180 on the logic there, Vaniki, you fucking idiot. Away. Okay. I, I like Dark Magician Girl. It's just that some of these fields will I have the like, like this one has a bunch of like lamps and tombs and stuff where it's kind of wonky to move and attack like that. You need more open. Sweet. Uh, definitely need the effect strength up. <laughs> and definitely barrel dragon. And I think slot machine. I don't know. If, I don't know if we get slot machine in the like roulette wheel thing. All I know is barrel dragon is going to be sweet against Merrick. Like that three attack thing is probably going to be what we need. I don't know if I'll jump right back to Merrick here, or if I'll go fight someone else, try to get a couple more levels. Curse of Dragon sucks. Fucker didn't do anything. <laughs> that is going to do it for this episode, though, guys. If you're enjoying the Yu-Gi-Oh! Caps and Monster I'll see them. Yeah, you know, make sure you do all the YouTube things. Hit that sub button if you're not already subbed. Again, I do apologize for the little break we had there, but uh, you know what? We'll try to keep back on it this time. I don't think there's any, like, RCQs or events I'll be going to soon, so... Yeah.